In this video, we are going to look at the for in and for of loops in JavaScript. The for in loop allows us to iterate through the properties of an object. It involves setting up a variable to be assigned the value of each object property and passing in the object we want to get the properties from. This can allow us to get both the name of each property as well as the value of each property using this method of bracket notation. We can see here an example where we have a post object and set up a variable named prop that will be assigned the value of a different property each time the loop iterates. When we run this code, we could see that prop here in fact is getting the name of each property as we see here and we could also get the value using this format here with bracket notation. Normally in JavaScript, when working with properties, we would use dot notation like this. However, when we are passing in a variable name as a property, like we are here because prop is not actually a property name, it is just the name of a variable that we want to be transferred into the name of the property, we have to use bracket notation like we do with arrays. Likewise, we could also use the for in loop to loop through arrays, since technically an array is just an object too. However, you really want to use for in loops for objects with properties, not so much for arrays. There is another type of loop, the for of loop, that we will use when working with arrays. The for of loop lets us iterate through a collection, such as an array although we will also learn about other types of collections later. The for of loop involves setting up a variable name to refer to each item in the collection and then passing in the name of the collection itself. In this example here, we have an array of post IDs. Then we run a for of loop, which looks the same as the for in loop, but using the word of instead. Then within the loop body, we could simply echo out each item in the array. You may sometimes see generic names given like item here, or you may see specific ones like ID, which refers to what this item specifically is. We also see a warning down here, which is telling us that the for of loop is an ES6 or newer feature to JavaScript. So what we should do here is within JSBin, we could come up to the top of our document and select ES6 Babel in order to get all of the ES6 or latest features working in JavaScript. We will look more at Babel later in the course, but for now, this will let us run through our for of loop with no warnings and get all of the items in the array. You could see how using the for of loop with arrays would be much less typing and much less verbose than the normal for loop. Now that we've looked at the for in loop for object properties and the for of loop for items in a collection, we could turn our attention to a new JavaScript fundamentals topic, functions.